hi guys welcome back to this awesome channel and in today's video i'm going to show you how to make this awesome so porridge with no lamps stay tuned so first things first you are going to add water to your sphoria or the pot of your choice then you are going to place it on your stove and let your water come to a boil as we wait for our water to boil we are going to make our porridge butter so for the butter you need water you need two spoons either one serving spoon and one fork and then also you need your porridge flour so here i used um two and a quarter uh, spoons of flour the serving spoon size yeah so you're going to add your flour to a clean bowl you can either use a cup or just a bowl of your choice is you add a so then you're going to add water and you are going to whisk the butter until it's very soft it shouldn't have any lumps okay you should whisk it either using a spoon or just a fork or if you have the whisker you can just like whisk with it make sure your butter has no lumps as i continue mixing my butter i'm going to take this opportunity to welcome all the new subscribers all the new viewers feel at home in this channel we'll do a lot of cooking and a little bit of some vlogs here and there yeah guys by the way if you want your butter to be thick so your butter the consistency of your butter is going to determine how thick your porridge is going to be the lighter your your butter the lighter your porridge is going to be so i've added the quarter table take quarter serving spoon of the flour because i like my porridge very thick very thick i don't like drinking my porridge i like eating it as it should be okay so if you're a new subscriber feel at home now on to the next step you are going to add your butter to your boiling water make sure your water is boiling vigorously okay now once you add your butter continue mixing it using a wooden spoon don't use a metal spoon or just a tablespoon that you use to eat you make sure you're using a wooden spoon and continue mixing it until the porridge starts boiling i know some might ask why should i continue mixing it until it comes to a boil whereas my water is already boiled okay this is to help you or your boy is to help you get that final porridge with no lambs if you just add your butter to your water you don't continue mixing it it's going to get big lambs so when you continue stirring it until it comes to a boil your porridge is going to be very smooth and by the way guys at this time you should be using low medium heat okay now once your porridge starts boiling like this let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes so guys this is after 20 minutes and as you can see my porridge looks amazing doesn't it <laughs> as you can see it doesn't have any lambs so the final step is for you to add sugar if you want to by the way guys you can also add milk if you want your your porridge to be very not thick as mine yes you can either add hot water don't add cold water to your porridge once it starts boiling add warm water or just hot water or just milk okay so continue stirring it and add your sugar and by the way i used so porridge this is i used the so flour porridge that's why i didn't add any if you want to take the so porridge and you don't have the so flour porridge you can add um you add you can add the juice of the 
one lemon to your porridge and it's going to be very yummy guys as you can see this is how my porridge was looking and it was very very yummy hope you are going to make your porridge and you're going to be very very happy so for the measurements i'm going to add them to the description box till next time it's bye